Hey everyone! This new episode of Inclusive Stories is about awkward situations at work. I wonder how many visually challenged people have been facing similar situations. Um, I am Moses. I work with Enable India. I work as an employability trainer. I also take care of workplace solutions and I, I do teach computers for visually impaired. Uh, recently when I've been to a company um, where I have went for to do a WPS solution but uh, when, I, when I spoke to the uh, HR on the phone the, the guy said like you please do come and you know solve with the problem because because I, I, on the phone they, they, they cannot see me or how I look and what is the problem that I have but since my communication is fine so, so they did not have any problem but when I went there the, the, and then I asked them okay I am Moses and introduced myself and said okay I am here to solve the problem then the, the person said are you really serious to solve the problem and I said yes and that person asked can you solve the problem then? And I said, yeah, I'll try and solve the problem. Then the person said, no, it is the problem for a visually impaired. And I said, that is exactly why I'm here to solve the problem. Then they said, if you can solve the problem, why our, you know, our people could not solve it yet, you know, visually impaired who are working. And then I had to tell them, you know, everybody may not be inclined to troubleshoot the thing. So, well, I am uh, Subramani. And I work as a journalist with a, with a newspaper here, which is a, a daily newspaper circulated um, in Karnataka. See, first day when I went to uh, uh, Indian Express as a trainee, uh, that was the time when, uh, you know, this uh, football uh, World Cup was happening. That was in 1998 when uh, the France, France was hosting it. So, when you enter the general desk, Towards the left, you had a series of terminals where the sports journalist used to work. And the sports editor was standing right there. And I walked with a stick and uh, he looked at me and said, uh, Look here, gentlemen, you are doing some work. Please go out. <laughs> and I was precisely there for, you know, getting some work experience. And I was a trainee. I'm, I'm sure he didn't realize it first. Okay, and uh, he repeated it second time. And then, Fortunately for me, one of my, um, you know, college mates who also was doing internship went up to him and told him that, uh, you know, he was also a trainee. So, <laughs> so then uh, it was, uh, I understood that he was, he was stunned to hear that I was, I was there for training. <laughs> so, so, when you go out, you might get this kind of things, but you need to convince them or you need to talk in such a way that when a person says you can't do, don't. Don't get into argue, uh, argument mode, but you st start saying it's. I'll try, and if I don't, can if I cannot, let us see how it goes. Things like that. So, this is what like I would like to share because it's a fact uh, outside that you know people may not uh, accept you uh, very easily. So, it is up to you how you present yourself and make the things happen. If you had a similar situation, please share it with us on Inclusive Stories channel at inclusiveplanet.com.